Hey there guys, welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I will be comparing the Aki Action Cam to the GoPro Hero 5 Session. I will be concentrating more on the Aki Action Cam since we all know that the GoPro Hero 5 Session is a very good action cam. This video will be whether a $70 4K action cam can keep up with a 300 4K action cam in terms of video quality. They will both be set to 4K recording at the respective frame rates, and I will go over a few things both camera offer, but not too much in depth. So let's go ahead and find out if the Aki is worth it. The GoPro Hero Session 5 is one of the most versatile and durable action cam on the market right now. This needs no additional case to be waterproof. On the other hand, the Aki will need the waterproof case that comes included to make it waterproof. You can dive 30 meters or 98.4 feet with both of them. Alright, so now I'll just quickly run through a few things that they come with. With the GoPro, you are getting a USB Type-C cable to charge it and transfer videos to your computer. You also get some mounts to stick on something like your helmet or the side of your car. And with the Aki, you are getting several mounts, so there's quite a few mounts here. You also get a micro USB cable to charge and transfer your videos. You even get an additional battery and they are both rated at 1050mAh. You also get an extra lid for the waterproof case and you also get a remote. When I first came across the Aki Action Cam, I was very surprised that they would include all of these accessories, so that alone is awesome. With both of them, you get remote access through your phone. So with the GoPro, you just need to download the GoPro app. You also need to create an account and register your camera. With the Aki, you need to download the iSmart DVD app and you just use the right Wi-Fi connection. If you're having trouble connecting, just turn off your phone's data so it doesn't interfere with the Wi-Fi connection. You can control more functions on the GoPro through your phone like changing the resolution from 1080p to 4K recording and more. And on the GoPro, you have some voice commands which allows you to yell at the camera to record or pause your recording and so on. On the Aki iSmart DVD app, all you can do is record, pause or take pictures from there as well as view the video playback. And there's no fancy voice commands but you do have the physical remote to record or stop your video that you can put on your wrist. The Aki's build quality is no match for the GoPro's build quality. The Aki's body is made from plastic and I don't know how much beating it could take before it breaks or stops working. So keeping it in the waterproof case is a good idea for protection. It has a 170 degree field of view which gives you a fisheye view and you can't change the wide angle view so you're stuck with that. There's no optical or electronic image stabilization so your videos will be shaky if you mount it on your bike on a bumpy road. The Hero 5 Session has a premium and rugged build quality that can stand multiple drops and the lens cover is replaceable in case you break it or you just get it so scratched up that you can't see anything through it. And it has electronic image stabilization so you will get smoother videos on that. The Aki has a built-in screen so you can see exactly what you are recording and make adjustments from that to make sure you get what you want in your shot. You can also control the many settings from there and watch the videos you capture from there as well. So I think that's one big pro on this tiny action cam. The Aki can hold up to a 32GB SD card and it recommends a class 10 or higher for 4K recording, but I found that it also works with a 64GB SD card. The Aki can record 4K at 24 frames per second and the GoPro Hero 5 Session can record 4K at 30 frames per second. So now I will just put a video clip of both of them side by side so you can see the difference and then I'll come back and give you my verdict. To me, the Aki has the richer colors and looks more vibrant and a bit exaggerated next to the GoPro, which has a flatter profile, which would be better if you want to do some color correction to it later when editing. One place where the Aki doesn't do well is in the audio quality department. The microphone is not able to capture as much as the Heroes 5 can, so if you're interested in the audio from the action cam, then I wouldn't recommend going with the Aki. But if you don't care about the audio quality because you will be doing voiceovers or putting music over it, then I would recommend it. Now the battery life on the GoPro while recording 4K is good, I got around 1 hour and 18 minutes of recording time and with the Aki I got about 50 minutes of recording time on its 1050mAh battery which isn't too bad and the cool thing is that the Aki comes with a spare battery in the box so you can almost get 2 hours of recording time on 4K. So this concludes my review and this video was created to help those thinking of getting an action cam but don't want to shell out $300 on an action cam that they will only use a few times and then it will sit on the shelf collecting dust or for those who want a 4K action cam on a budget. The Aki seems to do almost as good as a GoPro in terms of video quality and for $70 it's a great camera on its own. It has a decent battery life and it comes with plenty of accessories. 
based on what I mentioned earlier, I would recommend Yonki to those looking to get a 4K action cam on a budget. If you have any questions or feedback, let me know down below in the comment section and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Now thanks for watching and I'll talk to you on the next video. Bye-bye.